hello again and welcome to my channel um today i just want to talk about some of the products that i've recommended before on my makeup videos um in terms of um cruelty free products now i've been learning a bit more about this so i've been looking up um on YouTube videos, watching other people's videos um, about it and reading up on websites. Um, now I'm going to talk a bit more, I'll tell you a bit more about those websites and um, blogs and maybe put them in the description box when I've done a list of some of the stuff that I've looked at. Um, and it, it's just about awareness really and I just want to do this video to raise awareness for anyone who might be watching this about cruelty free and um, what products you can trust for that and what products you can't. Now I know apparently in the UK, not apparently, but in the UK and the EU um, generally, then there's laws um, that companies now cannot test on animals to sell those products in our country or the EU countries. So I know that whatever we buy in the UK is apparently cruelty free um, product but the companies aren't necessarily um, cruelty free companies now you may be a bit confused about that thinking well surely if the product can't be tested on animals to sell in the UK then that makes the company okay as well well yeah maybe the products aren't tested on animals to be sold in the UK if you completely trust that I'm not sure I totally trust <laughs> a bit skeptical really but because you don't know what these companies are doing behind closed doors but anyway that said say if they are um some of these companies don't just sell in the UK and in the EU they sell in countries like and I'm not picking on certain countries in particular but um, countries like China where they have regulations apparently and this is all documented I mean you can read about this on Google you know you can look it up and there are websites out there that will tell you these things as well um, it's not just hearsay and in China they apparently to sell cosmetics and skincare over there you they must by law test on animals which is a little bit strange um, since like there are plenty of countries who are selling cosmetics and skincare perfectly fine without testing on animals um we should know by now in this day and age um what's safe and what isn't anyway without having to continue to do that so i just want to raise awareness really because some of the companies that that we um some of the brands that we know and love and, and purchase in the uk on makeup and skincare um that are popular and even sometimes affordable some of the these companies um but they sell in china so they're still permitting um tests on animals on the on behalf of making a profit and selling their products so companies and i'm really sad to say this that companies even like nivea um maybelline um rimmel Revlon, um, L'Oreal and there's a lot of brands that I've talked about before in my makeup blogs that now I kind of think oh I wish I wasn't I wish I hadn't promoted those companies now because um, they are permitting tests on animals basically so I've, I've done a list as you'll see on other people's maybe YouTube um, blogs as well so um, uh, you know the makeup gurus that, that may talk about this as well now I've done a little list and I want to share that with you um, not all of these are affordable um, some of them are but again there's just as much of a good mix of affordable brands to professional more professional kind of upper market brands in the UK they're not all um, you know it's like if you look at those that do test on animals you get that range you get the same range in in cruelty free products as well so i made a note in my iphone so i'm just going to find that for you now um so it's some of the um some of the companies that do not permit testing on animals at all so that means they may even not sell in china because of it um you know deliberately because you have to test on animals to sell there so i'm going to go through some of the um 
some of the brands that you can trust at least at the moment. If things change, then I don't know in the future, but at the moment, these are the brands that you can trust. Um, and these are mainly makeup brands, not skincare, but some of them do skincare as well. Um, okay, so here goes. Revolution, NYX or NYX, and they're a bit pricey, <laughs> but they do do nice products. Um, Urban Decay, um, Essence, Wet and Wild, Jordana, which I'm not sure you can really find that much in the UK. Too Faced, which are starting to do stuff in the UK. Kat Von D, which you can get online and I believe in Debenhams, I think, or John Lewis or somewhere like that. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Bare Minerals, Body Shop. Yay, they're definitely a, in the big in the UK. Um, Soap and Glory, which, you know, you can get in boots, I think. Um, Natural Collection, again, Boots, and Number 7, again, from Boots, exclusive to Boots. All those brands are fine. Boots are pretty good um, with those things. So um, Hourglass, which I'm not that familiar with. Um, Barry M. Um, Mark Jacobs Beauty, which, again, I'm not totally sure of. And I think uh, I looked up where can you buy that, and it's in John Lewis, John Lewis or House of Fraser or... Debenham, somewhere like that. Um, again, I think they're quite pricey. Um, Mineral Fusion, Pacifica, OCC, Axiology, not heard of it. Paula's Choice, not really heard of that either. Um, Freedom, which is affordable, pardon me, and you can buy them from Superdrugs. W7, which is one of my favourite brands because I they're accessible. They, they, W7 is quite a popular um, brand and, and they are cruelty free. And they're affordable. So, yeah, excellent. Um, collection and Collection 2000, I believe both of those should be animal free. If you know differently, do let me know and drop a line at the bottom. Um, MUA, which again, I believe is um, exclusive to Superdrugs. Um, or I think Elf, you can buy apparently Superdrugs, but I went in today and had a look and I didn't see Elf in there, but apparently you can buy Elf products in there. Where I live, I've never seen it, um, but you might be able to get that online. Um, MUA, I've just said that. BC, Body Collection, not totally sure. You may need to double check that one, but apparently um, Lush, um, which are one of the good ones that are promoting um, cruelty-free, LA Colours. Um, now, these are some of the brands that you should not trust to be cruelty free. Um, again, if you're buying in the UK or Europe, the products you buy apparently have not been tested on animals because it's illegal. But that company will sell in countries like China where, um, like I said earlier, you know, so if the company is permitting um, testing on animals in order to sell their products in other countries, then they're still permitting animal cruelty. Um, so these are some of the big companies that 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 do it basically. Um, Avon, popular Avon, Revlon and Rimmel, which I've liked in the past. It's a shame because I've I've bought a lot of those products, um, which I now feel ashamed of. Um, Max Factor, Mac, which I don't really buy, but they're quite popular. Um, L'Oreal are apparently just no, no. <laughs> um, Estee Lauder. Um, yeah, Garnier, Dove, Nivea. Um, makeup from New Look. And Clarins. Um, there's, oh yeah, Miss Sporty, which I've recommended before. Apparently, they try and claim that they are ethical and don't and are cruelty free. But when you dig deeper, some of these companies will claim to be cruelty free. But when you dig deeper, they have a little clause in their policy which enables them to sell um, in places where animal testing is either essential or permitted. OK, so just watch out for that. And there are companies that will pretend um, new look even claim to be animal free and when you dig deeper they, they've got stores in China and places like that so um, 
Yeah, I've just made some notes down here of where you can get these products. Um, Debenhams sell a lot of these, like Bare, Minimal, Bare Minerals. Hourglass, you can get at John Lewis, it's pricey. Um, Kat Von D at Debenhams, again, I reckon that's probably pricey. So not all of these are. I mean, uh, like I said, some of the uh, more affordable brands you can get in Boots and Superdrugs. Um, in the UK. Um, also, Essence are cruelty free and you can get them at Wilco's. Essence I really like. They're very affordable. The stuff is lovely. I mean, really nice. And um, I do like it. And Natural Collection, again, Boots, you know, is very affordable. So there are a lot of um, affordable brands here. Oh, yeah, I was going to say a brand to not trust on my list forgot is Maybelline which again I've recommended some of their products and now I just feel bad about it so from now on I'm going to be careful what I buy um if I do buy anything else I mean I'm stocked up pretty much on makeup at the moment and skincare so I don't really need massively to buy anything anyway at the moment um I'm not going to throw away what I've bought so far from companies that that um are not cruelty free and that sounds hypocritical but it's just that um I'm, I'm i've bought it now i'm not going to throw it away i can't take it back to the shop or anything so i'm just going to use what i've already got um and when it comes to replacing whatever it is say it's mascara or whatever um just buy it from a a cruelty um a cruelty free brand that i know that i can trust um now i'm going to let you know some of the websites that you can look at these products um, about you've got ethical elephant for one you've got peter p-e-t-a but apparently they're not always up to date they may tell you that something's cruelty free when it isn't and you just need to watch out for for p-e-t-a um and there's another website which i can't remember the name of it so i'm going to get these names together and put them below and if you watch some of my um playlists that i've saved on youtube there is some cruelty free um vlogs makeup um vlogs on there from other people that i found that i've saved because i they've given me information and i'm just passing that information on and I, so essentially i've used someone else's information so i want to give credit where that's due um you'll find them in the playlists um people that have talked about these things um and that's it for now. I have watched other videos other than that that I haven't maybe saved or whatever, but there's a lot out there. So, you know, you can just Google it, look at it up on YouTube and find out a bit more about some of these brands and what you can and can't trust. OK, so that's it for now. I just wanted to get that out there. I want to, uh, <coughs> pardon me, I want to raise awareness about this and just say I am sorry that I hold my hands up and say in ignorance uh, or even not even thinking about it enough. I've bought stuff from brands that that don't, you know, that aren't as culture free as they say they are. Um, I won't be doing that from now on. Uh, the, one of the ones I'm gutted about is Nivea um, skincare because I, we all love Nivea. A lot of people do unless they're allergic to it or something. But yeah, that's a bit of a shame really because that yeah, and Maybelline, you know companies like that it's a shame that i won't be buying from them anymore until they change their policies um and tighten up so i just don't think animals should suffer for the sake of beauty and some of these animals really do suffer in these laboratories you know that the people who test on animals i mean they're not they're not necessarily they're not going to be animal lovers are they put it that way so i don't want to think about what these animals suffer um and I, I, I don't want to be a hypocrite and say I don't like the idea, but I'm still going to buy, you know, for the sake of beauty. I just don't think it's fair and I don't think it's right and I don't think it's necessary. So um, if you like this video and you agree with what I'm saying, please share it. Please like it. Please comment on it. Whatever you want to do with it. Um, pass it on. Put it in your playlists, whatever. Just just get the message out there that, you know, this is not acceptable. Um, thanks for listening. Take care. Bye for now.